probably start raining once I jump on the bike. That's the way things usually go. Look at the time, it's quarter to 11. It's taken me this long to get my ass in gear. Well, the good thing about these uh, JNS lowering foot peg mounts, just the mounts, not the, not the pegs, I only bought the mounts, is that with my adventure boots on, my former adventure bo boots, or FOMA, former, um, I don't have to adjust the gear shift. It is perfect where it is. It's already lowered because uh, of the lowered foot pegs, but I don't have to do any other adjustment to it. So that is great. I did bring a 10 mil spanner with me just in case I did have to adjust the position to accommodate the bigger boots. But no, that is really good. It used to be a bit of a pain adjusting that all the time. Uh, every time I want to do go on a ride with my boots on that's one less thing to to worry about so I'm off to Dagula the Aguila National Park once again a place where I go often uh, some great forest trails there uh, many of you will know that place, especially you guys that follow me uh, around from uh, from Brisbane. You'll all know this area, Lacey's Creek Road. So I'm just going to head up there uh, and find a spot. I know a spot actually where I can pull up and uh, set up with my chair and table and cook myself a steak as long as that bloody rain stays off look at it man Ooh. here we are just uh, passing through Dayborough we go straight on eventually left onto Laces Creek Road. This road will take us all the way to the entrance of Daguilia, Daguilia, never say that word, National Park. Well we've just hit the dirt. It's surprising how long that Laces Creek Road is to get to this point. Admit I'm taking it nice and cautiously. It's a Jimmy. Ah, oh, feels nice to be back out here again. Well here we are, arrived at the entrance and I'm busting for a wee. I think I'll just hang on until I get to my spot because it's not too far away. It'll be interesting to see how these lowered foot peg mounts do now with me risers. first part of this is the roughest not this bit a bit coming up be careful of oncoming four-wheel drives I've passed a couple 
bikes too. I've got to say, the new suspension I had put on here before my trip is just fantastic. Really good, makes so much difference in soaking up these bumps. It's awesome. been regraded. Yeah, pretty sure it has. Oh, this feels so good. So good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here's a car coming. There we go. really well on these sort of tracks as well in my opinion I think it just gives you that bit more responsiveness to to power out when you need it a little bit of an extra boost up some of these hills before after I had it done actually to give it a to give it a go and I was impressed then as I am now Ooh, a, bit, a bit slimy Gotta watch for vehicles it's a bit overgrown I'm going to a spot that's not far from here. In fact, I think it's here. I'm just round this corner. Oh, it's a bit muddy. Take it carefully. Time's it. 12 o'clock, here it is.
Oh, pink in the middle. Oh yeah. Can you see that? Oh, it's dripping. Dripping juices. Dripping juices, folks. Mm -mm. It's uh, it's a bit rubbery, but I got it from Woolies two for eight dollars, so I can't complain. And I really did want to just test out that stove to see how it cooked. It does great. Really pleased. Mm. So I'm clearing up. I do still want a coffee, but I've got to make sure that... Hello. I've got to make sure that... Um, yeah, I'm on a GoPro. I've got to make sure that I'm in a relatively good position to get all my gear under cover in case it does pour down. It's beginning to... Uh, it's beginning to spit. So what I've done, I've got my rain jacket out and I've covered my helmet with my, uh, the helmet and riding jacket and uh, riding trousers. And there, hopefully that will protect them. Doesn't matter if this is out. So at least I've got a bit of protection. Everything else is in there. Yeah, it's raining. I don't care if I get soaked. At least I'll have dry, at least I'll have dry trousers and jacket to put on. Mm. Out for a, a bush meal in the rain. Wow, you watch my views now go up thousands and thousands because there's rain involved. And technically I'm not camping, but I'm still outdoors in the wild in the rain. Oh boy. in the rain. I timed that well. that patch of blue sky so I reckon I might be uh, up for coffee do I risk it so nice being out here on my own in the solitude despite the weather in the rain yeah oh, it looks a bit dodgy over there still it's just very changeable. You either do it or you don't. I'm going to do it. <laughs>
I'm going to have a coffee. Yeah. Well, the sun's well and truly come out now. Cheers. Ooh, that's hot. Man, one minute it's like raining. And the next minute, wow, it's, the sun's out and it is so strong. Queensland sun, super strong. I don't know how long it will last. It'll probably rain before I start making my way back. Always the case. Wow. So changeable. I'm now sweating. Well, I picked a good moment for the coffee. That's probably my last bit of cooking so I can uh, get this all cleared up whilst I, I wait. Oh, that's right in my eyes. Whilst I wait for that to cool down. Battery's low on the GoPro, so what I've done is I've, I've taken it out. I don't have another one, um, but it's running now directly off the power bank. Um, you can't charge and use the GoPro at the same time. But if you take the battery out and plug in a charger or mains lead, you can still use your GoPro, but not with the battery in. So take it out. But of course that means I won't be charging it for the trip home. So I'm not sure how much juice I'll have left. So what I'll probably do is I'll, uh, it's gonna rain over there. My goodness, I hope that's not coming this way. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just finish my coffee, pack up, and uh, then uh, put the, uh, the GoPro on charge and hopefully we'll have some juice for the, uh, for the ride back out, out from here. We 
Here we go. As per usual, all packed up, ready to go. It's still spitting of rain, but uh, isn't it always? So, uh, yep, yeah, it's getting a bit heavier, getting a bit heavier. I might stand corrected on charging the GoPro with the battery in. Oh no, it's not charging, it's just playing. Yeah, it's not charging. Yep, oh, here comes the rain, viewers. I'm going to uh, put my jacket on quickly. Ah. Ah, oh, typical. I pack my waterproof away, and this is this is probably the heaviest it's been. Shit. Uh, what do I do? Better put my helmet on, otherwise it's going to get soaking. All right, speak to you in a bit. All right, so that's everything. Shitty, shitty weather. Shitty weather. Well, at least I was all packed up at the time. That is something. I would have preferred if it had started now, but it didn't. So, I'm going to hop on the bike. I might just have a, a ride up to Kluver's lookout. And take it steady. I'm already wet. Nothing left to lose. As I'm sure some famous ballad singer once said. Foam's in there. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Or shall I just go home? I mean look at it. Motorcycling in the rain. It's not going to get any easier, is it? What time is it? Well, I want to go out. There we go. Two to us, so I'll be home by. Yep, let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. It's going to take me about an hour to get home anyway, so that makes it... Whoa, let's put that back up. That will make it about 3.30. So... Ah... Oh, let me put my visor down whilst I'm still able to. Ah... Oh. Couldn't see whether I was in neutral or not. Obviously I wasn't. Well, what was I trying to say? Mission accomplished, I guess. Albeit a wet one. Job. I've still got my old jacket from my previous trip even though it's in tatters at least I can wear that if I need to go out on the bike this one's going to be pretty wet by the time I get home I have got a bloody waterproof but it's in my bag I mean what's the point of bringing a waterproof when you don't even bloody put it on I 
hope you can hear some nice tippy-tappy rain noises on the helmet. People get crazy for that sort of thing. through the rainforest in the rain Here I'm using the engine brake. Using the back brake and just a touch on the front. seem to flow as bad. Or is it? Not too fast. Conditions are slippy. And you have to be prepared to stop for oncoming four by fours. Just checking to see if you're on. wasn't too bad. Despite the weather, at least I did get out and just sort of dip my toes back into the dirt after a bit of a break. Call it a 
confidence building exercise if you will so that's not too bad maybe next time in better weather I will encroach further into the forest and do the usual route route that I normally do which is much more fun there's that water crossing again neat, 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 neat. Oh, nice, all on my boots. All right, viewer, I'm going to call it a wrap. Make my way home. Hopefully, if the rain stays away, it'll dry me out. So, the usual closing business. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up really helps the channel I'm sure you've heard it before but it does oh yes yes it does and if you enjoy this sort of content then do hit the sus sub can't even speak do hit the subscribe button and if you don't want to miss out on latest videos then ding the bell as well That's the closing ceremony done. All that reminds me to say now is um, bike abhorrence over. All together now and out.